In order to achieve accurate results, a TMA, SDTA, has to be regularly calibrated and, if necessary, adjusted. We will now show you how to do a force and displacement adjustment and standard temperature calibration on a TMA, SDTA. For the force adjustment, the measuring cell must be thermostated with a circular for at least two hours before performing force adjustment to ensure that the parts of the force generator and linear motor are at the right temperature. During force adjustment, the protective cover over the calibration weight must always be removed. The probe must be completely free to move during adjustment. Move the measuring probe into the zero position by turning the height adjustment ring until the zero percent is displayed on the touch screen. Set the position display to zero by tapping Set Zero. Open the module control window. Click Calibration and Adjustment. Select Force Adjustment. By default, force adjustment is performed with a calibration weight of 51 gram with tolerance limit plus minus 0 0.1. This covers the most usual measuring range for expansion and penetration measurements. Mettler Toledo only supplies a calibration weight of 51 gram. If another suitable reference weight is available, you can use it for force adjustment by entering its weight in the window. Start the adjustment by clicking Start. Carefully remove the calibration weight using tweezers. Confirm that you have removed the weight by tapping OK. Automatic zeroing of the force is now performed for duration of approximately one minute. Insert the calibration weight and confirm this by tapping OK. Force adjustment will now be completed in approximately one minute. The measured value appears in the module control window. To adopt the new calibration values and adjust the TMA module, click Save. Or if you want to discard the new value, click Cancel. Replace the protective cover over the calibration weight. The displacement adjustment is based on the measurement of length differences. It is performed by interchanging gauge blocks. Three gauge blocks of 1 mm, 1.7 mm, and 2 mm are shipped with the TMA SDTA. These gauge blocks are precision components with a tolerance of plus minus 0.0004 mm. The displacement adjustment is performed with a standard expansion and penetration measuring support and probe. Make sure the measuring probe and the sample support are clean. Make sure that the measuring probe is in zero position. Open Displacement Adjustment option in the module control window. Since only one measuring range must be calibrated for the TMA SDTA module, only one entry field is active. Start the adjustment with Start button in the module control window. Lift the measuring probe with the key Probe Up. Place the one millimeter gauge block on the sample support. Never close the furnace if a gauge block is on the sample support. The gauge block is too large and can damage the measuring probe or the measuring cell. Lower the measuring probe with Probe Down. Press Confirm. The first adjustment point is calculated. Lift the measuring probe by pressing the Probe Up key. Remove the gauge block 1 mm and put the clean gauge block 2 mm on the sample support. Lower the measuring probe by pressing the Probe Down key. Press Confirm. The second adjustment point is calculated. Remove the gauge block 2 mm. Press Confirm. Never adjust the height adjustment ring before both the adjustment points are calculated. Confirm the adjustment data in the module control window with Save. This adjustment is suitable for most of the expansion and penetration measuring ranges. The film and fiber measuring mode is also adjusted with this procedure. 
We will now show you how to perform a standard temperature calibration on TMA SDTA. You will need the following accessories the calibration toolbox with suitable calibration material, and silica disks. In the module window of the STAR E software, go to the Routine Editor. Open the method Check TMA Indium Zinc. A short description of the sample preparation will be displayed in the Sample Preparation field. Enter the sample name. A good name would be Indium Zinc, followed by the batch number used for the calibration. Send the experiment. Let's start with the preparation of the calibration substance. We will use indium and zinc as an example. Cut approximately 0.5 milligram of indium and zinc separately. For temperature calibration, it is necessary to determine the accurate fusion point with the displacement changes or temperature changes. First, set zero by placing two silica discs in between sample support and probe. Place the cut pieces of indium and zinc standard in between fuse silica disc. Leave a gap between the standards to preventing touching each other. Press Get L0 option on Smart Terminal. The sample length is automatically sent to host PC. Press Proceed option on Smart Terminal to start the experiment. When the measurement is complete, the curve will be automatically evaluated and the result will be displayed inside the module window. If the result is out of specification, then we would recommend you to run a second measurement using the fresh sample. If it is still out of specifications following the second measurement, then it is necessary to adjust the instrument. We have now shown you how to do force adjustment. Displacement Adjustment, Standard Temperature Calibration. Further tips and hints could be found in the book, Thermal Analysis in Practice.